This one other thing you mentioned was confirmation bias. Yep. And confirmation bias and a whole other bunch of selection biases are something I work with a lot in mm -hmm. the leadership soft skills area. So yep. an, an example of a confirmation bias when it comes to, to that area would be if, if I form an opinion about an individual that mm -hmm. they're, I don't know, disorganized, for example, then I will tend to see the examples when they're disorganized disproportionately yep. compared to the instances where they are organized or compared to other people. Mm -hmm. So I will see, I will tend to see, oh, again, he's disorganized again, he's disorganized again, and I will reinforce my belief mm -hmm. and it's like a cycle that if, if you're not careful, you can get the wrong impression about things. Yeah. So how, how does this apply? In so I'll go on your example. Your I think area. exactly the same things happens with the, can happen with data as well. Like Im imagine I would do an analysis on that particular person you're thinking about, and I'll show you a line chart that only shows his worst performing days. Oh, okay. And this, because you have that confirmation bias, you already have an opinion in your mind, and you have a graph that kind of confirms what you're already thinking, uh, you're already sold on the idea. So this kind of makes you be a bit less objective and less accurate on uh, what you're trying to communicate. The DACA example I gave is also something you can see perfectly uh, affected by a confirmation bias because if you're, let's say, uh, again, not to get political, but you're against immigration, you feel like the immigration problem is out of control, it doesn't even matter what the numbers are, right? I'm showing you a big number, big, 2000, and it's like, I knew it. Yeah, I knew uh -huh. it. This was one this more change. proof that I was right. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. One more, one more, one more argument for me to to show people I'm right. 